All right, folks, so I just want to um, just talk about a few things with the um, Red Eye Box Chevy. So um, I learned some new information today. So I did a whole QA1 setup in the rear. I did adjustable rear trailer arms. I did upper adjustable trailer arms. I did a sway bar, and I did the, um, the shocks. So the shocks I did was non-adjustable because I have airbag suspension. So I didn't think I needed um, adjustable shocks. And they have double adjustable because QA1, they got non-adjustable, they got single adjustable, and I think they got double or triple adjustable, um, you know, for um, basically for your, um, you know, your, your ride, the way your ride, yeah, your car is going to ride. Like, you know, if you're doing off-road track, whatever, whatever. So, what's funny, I stumbled on a video today on YouTube, right? Talking about now, um, QA1 adjustable shock supports air ride. So, which I didn't know that. I was, you know, because I was, I always do my homework before I do any kind of work on the car. Especially, like, you know, QA1, I'm very new to QA1. So, um... They did a they they had a they have a video which I'm gonna um I'm gonna try to repost it for anybody that's riding an old school on airbags or maybe whatever you're riding on airbags, you know what I mean? Or if you're interested in doing airbag and shock. Um because airbag and shock don't have no um no spring involved. So um so basically what I'm trying to say is so I have a video, right, which I'm gonna share with y'all basically showing um why you should use adjustable um adjustable shocks rather than what I use I use the non adjustable you know what I mean so um which is pretty pretty cool so um, I got to revisit my whole my whole setup I didn't do the um I didn't do the shocks I didn't do the shocks in the front yet because I was just doing the rear and I wanted to see how everything line up and how everything work out before I do the front. So just some 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 info for y'all. Um, if you're doing airbags, just do your homework a little bit, like you know, with the adjustable, the non-adjustable, you know, how your ride go feel and all that. Because it's like a whole scientific mathematic thing with this car, like you know what I mean, with the the ride height the air ride the coil over and all that is like really really like something real cool that i think like people should look more into before they start doing work on their car so you can understand like you know how your car is going to perform depending on like me i'm riding on 28s so that's why i did the airbag suspension because i'm trying to get the most comfortable ride ever because you're riding on h you know what i mean it's like the car sitting high the car the rim is heavy everything you got weight in your car so i'm trying to get the best ride so now when i ran upon they was like oh i could use the adjustables then i was like damn i put the non-adjustables when i said i got the adjustable so it was talking about um in terms of this um the knobs um and have the function so when the car goes up and down the rebound the rebound of basically the way it floats you can adjust it like you know what i mean so it could kind of help like you know whatever you're trying to do with your ride when you hit a bump so that I found that was pretty cool. So I think I'm gonna go adjustable in the front because you know your front is basically what's gonna hit the bump first rather than the back. The back hits it last, the bumps the front hit it first. So I think I'm gonna go um I'm gonna do that. So I just wanted to share that with y'all real quick. You know what I mean with the QA1, they pretty dope ass company. Um they support they support the um the big car game. You know, they got big car, big car um rear end kits and they have different kits for what we do you know what i mean so i'm a part of qa1 now because i spent i spend a bunch of money on them and um i'm gonna i have more things to do so i'm already looking into it do my homework also i'm gonna share it with y'all too you know what i mean so qa1 i always say boy i always tell qa1 i gotta share they need to cut me a check because you know what's funny like for mike ls even though i'm a small channel i'm growing I'm consistent and I'm keeping everybody motivated. You know what I mean? And right now, QA1, I like what y'all doing, man. I like what y'all doing. I appreciate what y'all doing for this car game because, you know, y'all just put me to a whole different level. Y'all opened my mind. Like, you know what I mean? Y'all gave me understanding of 
the parts I have and what it's going to do and what it's doing for me. You know what I mean? With the red eye box Chevy with the green Hellcat belt. All right, so yo, listen, I'm gonna cut this video short, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, man, we support Rucci because we got the one of one Rucci Stanwood. Y'all see that red Stanwood? That's a one of one, right? And, um, you know, we got the rim also, the master Stanwood, you know how that go. And if you're new to my channel, I got the sticker right there. And for Michael Lush, you know what I mean? Please like, comment, subscribe, put that post notification bell, you know what I mean? Share, you know what I mean? Support your guy because we got a lot of things coming to y'all. And we catch you on the next one.